enzymes speed up the rate of reactions. Rate changes show how quickly a reaction occurs. You should be able to carry out rate calculations for chemical reactions in your exam. So rate of change equals the amount of substrate used or product made divided by the time taken to make it. This t-shirt has been stained with oil. Fortunately, biology has gone into making biological washing detergents that contain enzymes, for example lipase, which breaks down fats and oils. This test tube contains a mixture of oil and water. We could measure how long it takes for the enzymes to break down the oil in the stain. How can we use this formula to calculate the rate of change in an enzyme reaction? Hydrogen peroxide is broken down by the enzyme catalase to produce water and oxygen. Two centimeters cubed of oxygen is produced in 100 seconds. What is the rate of oxygen produced per minute? So the first step is to calculate how much oxygen is produced in seconds. Here's the formula that we need to use. So rate of change equals the amount of substrate used or product made divided by the time taken. So let's apply this to our question. The rate of oxygen production equals two centimeters cubed divided by 100 seconds. The two centimeters cubed comes from here in the question and the 100 seconds was also provided in the question. Using a calculator, we can do this division to give us 0.02 centimeters cubed per second. Next, we want to calculate how much oxygen is produced per minute. So we know that 0.02 centimeters cubed is produced per second, and there are 60 seconds in a minute. So we're going to multiply this value by 60 to give us 1.2 centimeters cubed per minute. Again, remember that there are 60 seconds in one minute. That's where this value has come from. What if the data were on a graph? The rate of change can also be measured using a gradient. So the rate of change would equal the vertical change divided by the horizontal change. On this graph, we have time in seconds on the x-axis and oxygen produced in centimeters cubed on the y-axis. We'll split time into 25 second intervals and oxygen produced into one centimeter cubed intervals. The line of best fit for this graph is curved and has a changing gradient. We can draw a tangent at any point on this curve to work out the rate at that point in the experiment. So let's work out the slope of the tangent to the curve by using these dotted lines. Remember that the rate of change is equal to the vertical change divided by the horizontal change. In this example, the horizontal change will be 80 seconds and the vertical change would be 1.6 centimeters cubed. To apply this to the calculation, this would give us a division of 1.6 divided by 80. This equals 0.02 centimeters cubed per second. We want to work this out per minute, so again, we're going to multiply by 60 to give us 1.2 centimeters cubed per minute. You can use a tangent at multiple points on a slope to work out how the rate changes over time. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there.